And that lasted until I was 10, 11. And, you know, my dad's violence never really stopped, even when they split up, you know, in between those years, several times going into hostels where, you know, mothers were fleeing their abusive husbands and taking their children. So being woken up in the middle of the night to a black and blue mother with her, you know, her face out here saying, Zap, I'm going, do you want to come with us? And I said, yeah, of course, I always want to go with my mum. And then we went to hostels and, you know, the other kids were violent, got beat up there. I got hit in the face with a metal pole once. Um, yeah, it was, it, it was it was not good. <laughs> it was not good. And then uh, when they split up, you know, I didn't, I hated both of them, to be honest with you, for various reasons. And I, I spent as much time away from home as I possibly could. Um, and I was just out with friends and, you know, I started taking drugs at around... I'd say, I think weed, I started smoking at 13, cocaine at 15, and, yeah, you can imagine where it went from there. So, well, what a story already um, from the beginning. So, I, I think, to, uh, to kind of weave in, because I'm going to weave in bits of my story and see where we kind of tally up. Um, I think my, my childhood was I never had um, a great relationship. Well, I, I never even knew my biological dad. Essentially, my mum, he, my biological dad was my mum's landlord. She was renting a room. They got together. My mum was pregnant. Um, and then on the day she came home with me, that was it. Her, um, all her stuff was outside because she hadn't paid the rent. So that was my e entry into the world. Um, we lived in bed and breakfasts all around London for a good few years. Then my mum met my stepdad, who's my brother's dad. He brought me up, but where do I even start with him? Heart is in the right place, but totally emotionally unaware of himself and other people. So I had a, 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 it, it, it wasn't a bad childhood, but it was my mum made up the role of, of both parents, definitely. I guess my first um, experience with drugs was when I was about 15 at school, smoking cannabis. It was all fun and games, um, made me absolutely have the giggles and probably the best nights out. And it made me accept um, that I am a gay man and it made me more confident. That was the first time for me. 